And now, please welcome the athletes to the field of play for the recurve men's semifinal matchup number one. Well, eight becomes four here in Hermosillo. None of the four contenders has ever taken the grand finale title. First up, semi-final number one, an all-Asian affair. On target number one, representing the Republic of Korea, Lee Woo-Suk. <laughs> On target number two, representing India, Dinaj Formanivara. The line judge for this matchup is Curtis Solution. So here we go, two wins away from the finals title. Li Wu Shuk came through Mateus Grande 7 1 in his quarter final. The Korean goes up against the Indian archer Diraj Bomber Devara, who took out his idol also from Korea in the quarter finals, Kim Wu Jin. Well, lightning strike twice for Korea here against this powerful and confident young Indian. Lee Wu Shuk to get the semi-finals underway. Nine. Ten. Bonadeva looking like he's just left his quarter-final match, making it look easy shooting axes. Yeah, and if you can beat Kim Woo Jin, you can beat anyone. Of course, absolutely. Nine. I had a feeling it was a slightly long hold for Liu Suk. Maybe just leaving the door open already for Boma Devara. Nine. Made the adjustment to move into the 10. Setting a 28 down as the marker. 10 for the early lead. Nine. Just above into the 9. And one apiece here. But still a confident looking start from Diraj Bomadevara. Yes, very much. Very much. He started very strongly. Um, and like uh, for from what he's been shooting today so far 28 even seems bad which is crazy just speaks volumes about how well he's been shooting today and uh you so was even a little bit lucky that Puma Devra didn't keep uh, his strong form from beating Kim Woo Jin. Um, just Liu Suk. Uh, I'm sure he moved his sight because he had a very nice group to the right. And he's going to need a lot of tents to beat Puma Devra. Kim It's funny to see Liu Suk with the glasses. I think last time we saw him wearing glasses was when, like, Youth Olympics 2014, nine years ago. of the second set of this first semi-final. Ten. Nine. Shaky from Usok, but it doesn't matter. It's in the X. Great opportunity for the Korean here. Ace. Ten, ten, ten. Oh, oh, oh. He has found the middle. That was a lucky one. Ten. Well, a shaky set for Bomadevara. High into the eight and nine. 
Oh, starting off with a 17 and then a very quick arrow. I don't think we even caught it straight into the 10 just to finish things off. Perhaps a little bit of anger there from Bomber Devera. Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, very much looking forward and, and wanting to correct his mistake very quickly. Indeed. Uh, maybe that is the key for him to be back into you know the 10 shooting ways is just shooting quickly. Uh, perhaps. Uh, before he was over trying. This is something that, uh, at least with me, it happens quite often. It's like you start shooting well, and then you just want to control more and more the shot, and then you start at not, not just letting it happen, which is the way to go. Like these archers, they have shot thousands of arrows in practice. They know how to do it. It's all about just letting it happen here. Great insight there from Bernardo Oliveira, an Olympic archer from Brazil. Nine. Just coming off the boil, and now we're starting to see a little bit of the emotion coming out from Diraj Bomadevara. Meanwhile, Yu Shuk focused Ten. in the middle of the target and making a lovely little groove at the top of the 10. He'll want to shift that down, won't he? Yeah, yeah, that would be good, but he's on top form. Only two Ten. nines so far, and Boma Devra needs to get back to the 10 to try to at least put some pressure on Leo Sook, who seems to be so comfortable, too comfortable. Ten. He did shift a little bit, like you said. Nine. So 28 opens the door for Lee Wu Shuk to go 5 1 up, and 9 will be enough. Ten, ten, Not ten, for Lee Wu Shuk, a second perfect, perfect hasn't missed the middle, and the signs are looking ominous, not just for Diraj Bomadevara, but for the rest of the field. Lee Wu Shuk is in the middle. Yes, uh, well, I believe we're seeing the same trend as, as yesterday, you know, as, as the night settles in, I think wind conditions become much more easier to deal with, and so we're seeing, if you want to have a chance at gold, you've got to be shooting super well, like we're seeing Leo Sook do. He's on top, top Following form, and Boma Devra needs to repeat what he did against Kim Ujin if he wants to stand a chance. Like, he also is already in a very comfortable position once again. He just needs to tie the fourth set, and then he'll be into gold. If Lee Rusuk carries on the way he's been going for the last two sets, this one is done and dusted. Boma Devra shooting first in the fourth needs to put down a big score nine lots of nine so close to the ten it's just a little detail to put them back in the ten he just needs to find that quickly nine well that gives the Indian a chance nine but two spread, raising his eyebrows. He's know it's, he knows it's not going his way. Ten. 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 Well, that could be his last arrow. Another 28. Lee just has to match it with a nine to book his place in the gold medal match. Oh, it looks like it's clipped the line for a 29 following the 230s. It's a 7-1 win for Lee Wu Shuk. He's done such a lot as a junior. Hasn't won a big one as a senior. He's took his place in the final. Gives himself a shot here in Hermosilio. Niraj Bomadevara shot the Koreans early doors in the quarterfinals, beating Kim. But Lee Wu Shuk was just too good. Lee progresses to the gold medal match. Bomadevara will be back out before him for the bronze medal match.